Lunar eclipse is when the Earth passes between the sun and the moon and we cast our shadow onto the moon. And with us being on the dark side of Earth nighttime, we're going to see that shadow cast onto the moon. So this is all going to happen tomorrow morning. It'll start uh, about 345 in the morning. This is when the penumbral eclipse will start. So it's the Earth's outer shadow that starts to uh, be cast over the moon. But the most visible time frame for this is going to be between between about 6 11 in the morning. This is when the Earth's umbra is being cast on to the moon, turns the moon a reddish hue. Uh, so between 6 11, it maxes out 6 18, and then the eclipse ends at 6 25, uh, with the moon setting then at 6 41. So what you'll want to do is look toward the west sky. Hopefully, we can get some breaks in the clouds so you can see that. Uh, but you'll want to look west and Watch first edition our tower cam right here. Sometimes we can see uh, the moon in between some of the clouds, so that'll happen tonight. It'll be low on the horizon, but uh, we may get a shot at seeing it. 82 degrees right now. Southeast wind 17 miles per hour. Everybody with that southeasterly flow. A lot of people 20 miles an hour or greater. I see the temperatures in the mid to low 80s for the most part. Hebronville, you're at 91. A little more sunshine out there in the brush country today. Uh, but that cumulus cloud field didn't really yield a whole lot of rain. We did see some isolated activity in the morning, uh, but that has since fizzled out and our forecast looks warmer and drier here as we head into the upcoming Memorial Day weekend. Got a little wave of showers working toward uh, the Texas Louisiana border. Those will stay north of us. We'll keep an eye on this stuff firing off over Mexico, but uh, I don't really see a whole lot of activity heading our way here uh, anytime soon. The low pressure feature that's giving those showers and getting them going in East Texas will move out of here, as will most of the energy associated with that. And then high pressure uh, is going to be set up to our west. There will be one little chance, I think, for at least a mention of a rain shower or two moving through. This will be Saturday at some point. Uh, some energy rotating around the northern side of this high may clip the area, but uh, that would be a low end chance for rain here on Saturday. For the most part, this high uh, looks to keep us dry and we'll have those temperatures warmer into the upper 80s for Memorial Day weekend. Tonight should be fairly quiet. We will see some cloud coverage uh, and just a small chance at a shower here first thing tomorrow morning. Again, rain chances are not going to be anything like we had last week. It's just going to be that typical summertime type of shower that we get where just a few locations get them, uh, but most do not. And then Wednesday afternoon uh, tomorrow will top out in the mid 80s here under partly cloudy skies. So that little slim shot for a shower through Friday, a little bit of a better chance isolated activity on Saturday. Uh, but by and large, again, compared to where we were last week with those rain chances moving forward, it's not going to be anything like that. So some clouds around tonight for that eclipse into tomorrow morning morning mid 70s with the southeast wind 10 to 15 miles per hour tomorrow mid to maybe upper 80s some clouds in the morning a mix of sun and clouds in the afternoon with that high temperature again around 87 degrees if you're on the water moderate risk for rip currents 80 on the sea surface temperatures four foot waves at a seven second period and pretty quiet here heading into the weekend mid to upper 80s passing clouds warm humid and breezy uh, if you have any plans heading into Memorial Day weekend Leslie Rudy thank you Alan check this out